In previous videos, we used the Hack RF to capture packets from our Chinese diesel heater. These we'll use to program in an Arduino to hook to our Home Assistant. That way we can automate the heater from our Home Assistant and control it anytime, anywhere. We're compiling the original sketch again now uh, with, I think I might have corrected something in one of the header files, I can't remember, but basically we're going to go back before anything moves from the bench. We're going to go back and make sure that this is still dead because we know the hardware right now with nothing moved, no, no wires knocked loose, it, it works. So it can work. That leaves us strictly with code. And we're connected, we're uploading this. This doesn't have my commands to wake the heater up in it though. This is just the author's original stuff. And there is nothing. But it is working. Yeah, we're impairing. And if I wake this remote up, and see you would be able to faintly see data there but nothing uh, okay now what I'll do is I'll compare a whole lot of stuff I might just brute force it and just use all the register settings from the previous one and just put them in this library I don't know we'll see If you're a maker or electronics enthusiast, make sure you check out PCBWay. They can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. A lot of back and forth to find out. I thought I was had bad solder joints, but it was me being capacitively coupled to it. And then I finally clued in that I was low on power. So the PC can't feed this or it's too noisy and it doesn't like it. I'm not sure which, but uh, it, it's back working again. Now I'll plug it in. And this is back on my heater sketch and there is no carrier there. There is nothing but snow. I had to turn the gain way down. I had the gain way too high for this thing, and uh, then I was able to see packets pretty good, but she dead, Jim. It don't do anything. So what is the difference between these two? I don't know, but uh, I'm going to keep trying. And back on the working sketch for the outlets, and yeah, we're what happened there. Is it so picky that I can't even be in the vicinity? This thing it makes no sense. I set that down, we're back working. Well, doesn't matter, those are packets. Should I reset the unit? We get chirp chirp and happy happy joy joy. That is data. Well, at least a modulated carrier anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we got it. Chad GPT comes through. I have been back and forth with this sucker for two days. And some of what it gives me is total garbage. And some of it is like two thumbs up. And we finally went through the registers and it gave me a new PA table. I would have never figured this out, but that is max power just... <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> we may have to tune it down, but it went from just a little dribble of a carrier to 
it is splattering everything that that's it it's working <laughs> oh, that's awesome that is so cool okay but it's still not talking this is just a test with it should also taught me it taught me how to do a carrier test that I didn't know you could do It's built right into the radio chip that it's designed to be there as a sweep test and this is what it's doing is it's just doing a sweep from stop to start on the frequencies <sighs> we're almost there GoPro stop recording